Welcome all. Today I am going to show you how to build a simple to-do list with Blazor and ASP.NET Core. So here is the learning outcome. Create a Blazor app project in Visual Studio 2019 and build a simple to-do list. Now it is absolutely essential that you have gone through my earlier tutorial on Get Started with Blazor where we have created a simple Blazor app in ASP.NET Core 3 with Visual Studio 2019 and I have explained quite a few things with the uh, template that was generated after running the application. So I am not going to repeat them. So please go through that tutorial before coming back to this. Thank you. So first of all, we will create another application, a separate application. So I will flip over to Visual Studio now. So Visual Studio is open. I will click on File, New, Project and click on Blazor app. So I can name this project To-Do List and place it on this location that I want and create it. And now on this wizard create a new blazor app you can see that there are two templates one is blazor server app and another is blazor web assembly app you can use either of the two but i prefer blazor server app for the time being because that is the full version uh, for this template as opposed to the blazor web assembly app which is in the beta version still but you know it will be the same way and i will tell you the difference in my next tutorial about the difference between Blazor server app and WebAssembly app. So I will go for, I untick this, configure for HTTPS and click on create. And the project is created for me. So to-do list. Now here, the first thing that I have to do is I'll create a empty file. So empty class or razor file. So add new item so razor page rather razor component so and mark this razor component as to do so to do entities of type razor so i am getting i am omitting the file extension and it will create a to do dot razor page So the to-do.razor page is available here on the root directory of this project. And then I will provide the initial markup. So that will be at page and within double quotes front slash to-do. And then at the moment, I will get rid of this at code. We will come back to it later. And then an h1 tag, h1 and within the h1 and end h1, I will put a to do. Okay. And then I will add the to do, to do component in the navigation bar. So how do I do that? So you can see that there is a shared folder where there is a nav menu dot razor. So below the last list item you can see for fetch data, I will add another component, another link for this to do. So I will just highlight one of them, then copy it. Now I had copied and pasted and written within this nav link to do. Okay. Now what I will do, I will rebuild the application and run it. So this will do all together, clicking on the IIS Express button. Now the application is running and you can see that to do uh, item on the navigation left side. So if you click on this, it will, it is working. Okay. 
So, however, you can see that it is going to the fetch data. So it's not quite correct. So now I found out the problem was here. So if you see that I forgot to put the href to to do, I need to change this. So I'll now do it to do now stop this debugging and then restart the application. Now you can see that, you know, it is working. It is showing the to do list, you know, this item. So next is now I will close the application and work on the actual visual studio. So I will add a to do item dot CS file to the root of the project folder. So this will serve as a model class for this project. So all I do is right click on this and add class. And this class will be named as to do item. So to do item class. And what this class will contain? This is this will contain two strings, two public properties of title and a boolean is done. Okay, so prop tab tab. This will be string and then title. Then another one. This is a boolean which is named as is done. So if it is done, then it is true. So later on, we'll see how we wire it up with the checkbox. So tick if the task is done. Now the next part is we'll return to that to do dot razor page and we will add a field for the to do item in the add code block. So I will get back to the add code block again. I will, I had deleted it. I will redo it. So add code. Now this is private and this is I list type I list. Uh, I list on to do item. So to do item is there on the intelligence and I call it, I'll get rid of this. So to do's a variable equals new list item okay so now I will come back to the at code block and create a private variable of type I list to do item, which will initialize a new list of to do item like this. So private so I get this on the intelligence that which is pretty good and it gives me some suggestions also. I can make it to do items or I can make it to do's. I'm following a Microsoft tutorial on which this is based. So this tells me he's using to do. So let me use to do this, no harm in that. So new list and list of again to do items. So to do item and a pair of empty braces. So that's done. And then what it, I will do is add an unordered list markup and a for each loop to
to render each to do item as a list item so within this razor file above the at cold block i will create a unordered list and within this unordered list i will make a for each loop and you see the magic at for each so as long as you are going to write add at the rate in front of this for each it is going to act as if it is a c sharp code that is the beauty of the razor syntax so for each var you can in fact create a tab tab and it will fill it up for you so for each var let me write to do instead of item item will as good work but by convention let's go for, because it is a to do's so i am going to write for each var variable to do in to do's which is a list okay to do's so and within an unordered list i am going to write a list item list item is at then to do dot and then it exposes everything that is associated with to do i am going for the title i am going to write the title with this and then for for the app to work properly we need ui elements for adding the to do items to the list so i will add a text input here just below the unordered list so input now what is the type i can i don't want the type i'll get rid of this it will be just a placeholder at the moment so you can say placeholder and it will suggest to the user what he is supposed to do okay something to do right and then a button which i will wire with an event just we do in c sharp but if you have gone through my first lecture on get started with blazor that was also on microsoft article then it will make sense all right so add to do is also added the button add to do is added next i will rebuild that run the application now the app is running and you can see that we have got something to do as a placeholder on this input box and this add to do button if i click nothing is happen because no event is wired to this button okay now that's the next job that you are going to do so we will add now an add to do method to the to do component so i will just close this application and then within this code block i will add a shell of a method so private void it returns nothing add to do add to do and i'll have to code it all right so, and i will um, put it on the on click event of this button so if you write at the rate then on click so equal to now i will call this method add to do okay so you can see that it is looking like javascript code but it is not javascript that is the beauty of it so add to do now to get the title of the new to do item i'll have to add a new to do string field at the top of the code block that is below this to do's initialization so let's do that private string new to do okay like so now next i'll have to bind this field new to do to this input input button so how do i do that 
I will make a call to at bind at bind equals new to me. So just copy it from here and paste it. Okay. Now I'll have to next update the add to do method to add the to do item with the specified title to the list. So let's come back to the add to do method to now complete it. So I have to check if not string dot is null or white white space. And what could be null or white space? That is new to do. Okay. That is new to do. That is this string. If it is null or white space, then do something. And what is that something? If it is something, something is written on the text, then what I will do that, you know, to this to do's, which is of type I list. So, to do's, I will add, I, this add method is exposed because it is of a list type. So, then this is new to do item automatically it is placed for me and then is done a title. So, I will pick up the title, title equals, title is assigned the value of the string that the user has put, new to do and then semicolon and then I will make it empty. I will make the string empty because it is already picked up. So string dot empty. So basically I am clearing the text after it is added to the list. I am now going to run the application again. Okay, so click on to do. Let me add some items like this to do, add to do. Okay, it's added already. That to do added another to do. So everything is getting added nicely. Now, the title text for each to-do item can be made editable and a check, check box can help the user keep track of the completed item. Like, you know, you see that in any to-do app, you can see that the item that you have done can be ticked off. Okay, so next we'll implement that thing. So for that, it's quite easy. So in the for each loop on the unordered list under razor page so i'll have to just do a few bits and pieces and it will be all running just in a bit so within the list item and end list item i'll put an input type which is this is checkbox this time i'll i mean use this type as checkbox checkbox uh, and i don't need a name and a value but i would like to bind it to to do dot is done. So I'll just explain in a bit again. At bind, oops, sorry. At bind equals to do this to do. This one, one of the items, the item dot is done because this is of the type to do which has got is done as a boolean all right that's on this okay so to do item so this to do is also a type of to do item you can see there to do item and this is the i list right and then i can bind the 
Now again, initially before creating this checkbox, we had at to do dot title. Now I will I have already got rid of that. So now I will place an input element instead of uh, that at to do dot title and within the input element I will bind the at to do dot title. So how I do it in a second it will be all clear. So at input sorry tag input tag at bind equals so this time to do dot title much in the same manner as I have actually bound the checkbox created the checkbox only thing it was type checkbox and this is a input box the default is the text box so there's no need to put the type okay now to verify that these now I have written something quite a bit so now in order to check that these values are really bound that is bind attribute is really working so I will update the h1 header to show a count of the number of two items that aren't complete okay so or is done boolean is false so how do i do that so to do at to do's this one because that is an item at to do's um, or rather list of item at to do's dot count count on the list of item and then uh, a bit of a lambda expression to do goes to lambda operator parameter is to do so to do not to do dot is done okay so these are the items which has not been completed right now let's run the application once again now i have called this to do again and i have added two items first item and second item see there is a checkbox which you can check so this is so the checkbox against the first item is ticked. That means there's only one to do that is undone. Now if I tick the other one, so none of them, both of them are done. So there is no undone. And if I uncheck both of these, the count will be two. The two items undone or not, uh, or yet to be done or not done. Okay. So in this lecture, we have, I'll, I'll just close this application. In this lecture, we will recall that we have created a blazor application and then a to do list item was added as a component as a razor component and we have run and tested the application so that's it